Let's make a measurement. We want to measure this part in centimeters. So we take out a ruler and make the measurement. And we can see that this part is definitely between 6 and 7 centimeters. So we know it's 6 point something for sure. But let's get more precise. If we look more closely, we can see it's between 6.4 and 6.5 centimeters. So now we know that it's 6.4 something for sure. If we look closer, we can see that it's roughly halfway between 6.4 and 6.5. It's definitely not 6.1 or 2, and it's definitely not 6.8 or 9. It's somewhere in between these. Our best guess here would be a 6.45 centimeters. Could you argue that it should have been 6.44 or maybe 6.46? Indeed, you could. The 5 is an uncertain digit, a decent approximation, but not certain. A standard way of measuring is that we make a bit of a guess on that last digit. It does add value to include that digit, but we have to recognize that it is uncertain. Measuring any further wouldn't make any sense, as it would be a complete guess from here on in we're satisfied with one uncertain digit that tells us that the part is 6.45 plus or minus a couple hundredths of a centimeter. We know the part is between 6.43 and 6.46 for sure, understanding that the last digit here, the 5, is the uncertain digit is an important part of significant figures. Having one uncertain digit at the end of a number is useful. Having more than one isn't useful anymore, as it would turn it into a total guesswork. All standard measurements have one uncertain digit at the end. So, every measurement has some uncertainty associated with it. Even if it's a measurement that's made by some fancy equipment at NASA, no measurement is perfect. Simply put, some are less perfect than others. So we're clear that every measurement has uncertainty. The question becomes, how much uncertainty? In many cases, communicating the uncertainty of a measurement is very important. Say a machine shop is providing a quote for machining a particular part. What would be the difference if the plan they received said the part had to be 20 centimeters wide, or 20.0 centimeters wide, or 20.000 centimeters wide. They're all the exact same measurement, but if you were pricing the production of these parts, you'd price the three plans quite differently. For the first one, you could interpret it as being 20 centimeters, with the zero being the uncertain digit. That is roughly 20 centimeters plus or minus a centimeter or two. A tape measure and a hacksaw is more than enough to finish this part off nice and quick. If it, the engineer making the design didn't understand sig figs, they may not get what they had in mind. That is a pretty roughly cut part. Hopefully it didn't have to fit into a wing on an airplane very snugly or something. The second one is saying that you should be looking for more precision with the uncertain figure being here. Now this one's going to cost more, as it'll take better equipment to cut this part. The cost suddenly went up quite a bit. Now this part might be, instead of $20 per part, it might be $200 to make this part. Now the third one is saying that you should be looking for some pretty extreme quality control as you need the piece to be within a few thousandths of a centimeter. The needs are very particular here. Suddenly your company may have to quote on the job with the idea of buying some fancy extra equipment that can ensure this level of precision. It might go up to $2,000 per part. To someone working on a very precise and expensive piece of satellite equipment, say, 
two thousand might be well worth it to get the precision that there was needed. It's amazing how the same measurement with just a few extra zeros can tell you something totally different. One more example here. This is the case at a pharmacy. A drug mix requires an ingredient as specified by a chemist. 0 0.120 grams indicates a much higher level of precision required versus 0.12 grams. 0 0.120 grams would indicate that the chemist designing this drug believes that it's very important to get a very precise amount into the mix. Let's hope the chemist understands the impact of the extra zero they wrote down, as the time and cost of production has just gone up significantly. In this tutorial, we reviewed the need to fully understand the impact of the numbers we deal with. It's important that we as scientists understand sig figs. It's our way of communicating both measurements and expectations to others.